Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For this video, I am bringing you guys along with me on the weekend, a little day in the life on the weekend with me. And this weekend was absolutely gorgeous. It was a warm weathered, plant filled weekend. You can't get better than that. We really just spent it working in the yard, in the backyard, hanging out, grilling, playing with our animals. It was a wonderful weekend and so I decided to bring you guys along for it. If you enjoy this style of video, be sure to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see a peek into my weekend and don't forget to subscribe before you go as well. I hope you enjoy. The weather this weekend was absolutely gorgeous especially for a spring day in Pennsylvania it was super warm not a cloud in the sky and so we decided to go to the local greenhouse and pick out some flowers and some herbs and veggies for our garden for this season I absolutely love doing this it just brings me so much joy and so much hope for the warm weather I love gardening and so filling my little garden cart with a bunch of goodies it just it makes me so happy Once we got home, it was time to get all these plants into potters and into flower beds and the garden and things like that. So I got to work and would you believe it, but I have planted so many flowers from this day and yet I still have more that I need to plant around our house. But it was a beautiful day to just kind of get to work with this. Uh, yard work and planting it was so peaceful and of course Dixie was soaking up the sun as always in our grass just loving life <laughs> but then I also planted some marigolds in our flower beds I have always loved marigolds something about them I love one how they smell but also I just remember that my mother always planted marigolds and they're hardy and they're kind of just like tough flowers you know they're they're tough and they smell so nice and they add such a beautiful color i even had a cat growing up that was named marigold so the flower of marigold has just always been a special kind of flower for me and i filled our flower beds with these then it was time to get to the real work which was our veggie garden we had to till this up and get it ready to plant um i will be so happy when the day comes that i have a rototiller and we don't have to do this by hand let me tell you it's not easy then we ended up planting our tomatoes that we got that day and some of our peppers i will say since this day though our tomatoes have kind of taken a hit i think from some of the cold nights in pennsylvania this spring luckily my mother just gave us some tomatoes that she did by seed that look amazing so we are going to replace some of these little guys that kind of got hurt by the cold nights with those new tomatoes there is something about a 70 degree day especially a 70 degree day in spring that makes me want to grill and so we went to our local grocery store as you can tell by this shopping cart footage it cracks me up every time um, but we went to our local grocery store to pick out some things to grill and eat outside and we chose to get some corn on the cob because what says summer or the hope of summer coming very soon other than corn on the cob. I will say it's a little early in the season for this so it wasn't the best corn on the cob that I've ever had but it still made me feel like it was summertime so I was happy. I have to say the highlight of this whole weekend and the whole day <laughs> was finding a monstera plant at my local grocery store like what who does that i was so excited to find this beautiful plant at my local grocery store 
So when we got home, I put on some music and we started to get dinner ready and grill while Tony was grilling the corn and the burgers that looked so good. I played with Dixie in the yard and she just loves to play tug of war. She doesn't really um, do catch too much, but she loves tug of war and just chasing after things. She's honestly a puppy at heart. She's like two years old, but she still acts like a puppy. Okay, so I had to include the footage of my cat Remy and Dixie in this video. Not only is the lighting really gorgeous this time of day in this room, but their friendship is beautiful like I don't know if I've ever showed you guys this before but they are just the best of friends and it's so cute and I absolutely love them so much so after dinner and working in the yard all day my muscles were just really achy and tired and sore and so I wanted to make an essential oil roller that really just soothed and relaxed my muscles so that is what I did and it was honestly amazing. I using living if you are wondering what essential oils I use that is what I use and I love to make my own kind of rollers and my own recipes and I put it on my essential oil shelf. I admired my Monstera again because like I said who gets a beautiful plant at the grocery store? I guess I do. I don't know. I just feel very lucky for finding that. Then I went into the bedroom and I put Valor into my diffuser and I just wanted to kind of settle down for the night but also be motivated to get some work done because this is kind of where I do a lot of my work. I cozy up into bed. I know a lot of people don't like to cozy into bed to get their work done but I do. I just work really well here so I cozied up with Dixie with my laptop and kind of ended my night which is getting a bunch of things done.